racer, meet a real racer right here, Christian Rasmussen. Not only did you just win the Indian XT Championship, you made a hell of a statement, son. He didn't win by one second. He didn't win by two. What did you put it out to? Nine or 10 seconds? No, I think 17. Seven, I just stop it. Come on. But that's exactly what we want a kid like you to do. Not only show us you're a champion, but make a statement in clinching. Tell us about this season, but let's start with this drive today, Christian. Yeah, this drive today, you know, we, we knew we had it. We missed it a little bit yesterday with some tire pressure stuff. So we knew that we were gonna get better today. And uh, we were, you know, like, it was just about getting away clean, which I did. I think I managed to get out like a second and a half on the first, first lap. lap. And you know, and from there I was just pacing myself, you know, I was just taking care of the tires. And uh, I just kept hearing on the radio that I was pulling away, pulling away, pulling away, even though I didn't really push very much. So. But this was just pure joy. I mean, not only your full talent on display, but I, ha I imagine you just smiling and driving for the sake of it. What's that like being so free, knowing you can just show everything? Oh, it was amazing. You know, like as soon as I crossed that uh, that start line, start the race, I knew I was a champion. So from there on out, I just want to enjoy my last Indian next race. You know, we wow. I've had two seasons now, and this second season has just been amazing. And finishing off with a win in this dominant matter yeah. is just super, super special. You know, I have all my family over here. I got my parents, my brother, my girlfriend. They're all soaked in champagne. All soaked in champagne. You. Yeah, you know, I, I wanted to give back a little bit so uh, no it's a great feeling we've done great this year you know we've been strong on many occasions we've won both oval races street circuits uh, road courses everything so very happy uh, very happy with HMD's performance this year and oh my goodness and their uh, you know willingness to to keep me in the car because that wasn't always a given yeah. we, we went into this year without a full budget no and just because of race wins and because I have put myself in that yep. position to go win a championship, I think that's really been the reason why they have kept me in the car. So I have been continue to, to you know, get back to them and, and prove myself and, and then walk away with a championship at the end is, is an amazing feeling. HND, there's no way they could run nine cars. Everything was going to suffer. No one was going to be competitive. You and your teammates said, yeah, the heck with that. We're going to prove that wrong. Let's close on this because you got to go do more stuff. That's what happens when you win championships. You get asked to do a lot of things. We're not confirming anything, but I keep hearing great news that you should at least be doing an IndyCar test coming up soon. Tell me about your hopes and chances for next year, because based on what Linus Lundqvist did last champion, getting hired by Ganassi, you just winning should tell IndyCar teams this is a real talent to pursue. But tell us about moving into the next phase. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I feel ready. I feel sharp. I feel the best I've ever had in, in, in a race car. So I'm pretty sure that if we step up, you know, it's going to be great. And I think I'm one of the most winning drivers in the road to India yes. after Kyle Kirkwood and the yes. second one in history to win all three championships. So, you know, it proves that the, the next champion is, is doing well. You know, you have Colson, you have Pato, you have Kirkwood, you have, you know, Linus as well now. And, and it just proves that this is the best series to prepare drivers for IndyCar. And I think it was great that, that Linus got the chance this year to to prove to everyone that the lights, the next champion is, you know, right there. And uh, without, you know, having any time in the car, he went right in and performed. So hopefully that opens some eyes with some, uh, some IndyCar teams and creates some opportunity for, for the rest of us. IndyCar team owners, do not sleep on this kid. He will do big things for you. Your 2023 Indy Next Champion. Holy cow, kid. Take it easy on him, man. Slow down.